Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Virgin Galactic space flight test fails. Also, Paris Air Show canceled due to the pandemic. And Reno Air Races seek continuing financial support. Thank you for joining us this Monday. We hope you had a great weekend. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have an exciting episode today filled with the latest news. So let's start with the Virgin Galactic space flight test fails. After numerous delays, some induced by the COVID-19 pandemic and dealing with a move to New Mexico, Virgin Galactic still has not launched a spacecraft from their New Mexico facility, though Saturday they tried. In a flight to some 50,000 feet to allow for a proper altitude for the drop of the small spacecraft, video shows a good release from the mothership followed by brief seconds of separation as it dropped away. And then ignition of space ship two single rocket engine. For an even briefer second, followed by an apparent shutdown and some gases venting as it turned back to the airport. Early info via Twitter stated that the ignition sequence for the rocket motor did not complete. Vehicle and crew are in great shape. They have several motors ready at Spaceport America. They will check the vehicle and be back to flight soon. And later communication explained that, after being released from its mothership, Spaceship 2 Unity's onboard computer that monitors the rocket motor lost connection. As designed, this triggered a fail-safe scenario that intentionally halted ignition of the rocket motor. As described, this may not create a significant delay in the test program. We'll keep you posted. After the break, World Air Sports Federation has a new president. We'll have those details after these messages. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Hi, my name is Rick Volker. I flew my 600 horsepower North American Harvard in several air shows in North America using Swift UL94. I placed Swift UL94 in one wing tank, 100 low lead in the other wing tank. There was no measurable or perceivable difference in any performance parameter when switching between the two fuels. As a bonus, Swift UL94 prevented any plug fouling. I highly recommend this fuel to keep your aircraft clean and performing well. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Pat. So let's start with GEH series aerobatic engine powers its first flight on Diamond Dart 550. On December 4th, Diamond Aircraft's Dart 550 perform its first flight with a new fully aerobatic GE Aviation H75A engine at Wiener Neustadt East Airport in Austria. This new turboprop engine is the first aerobatic engine developed by GE Aviation at its turboprop headquarters in the Czech Republic to provide 550s for the next generation of aerobatic turboprop training aircraft. The new GE H75A is set to undergo several flight and aerobatic tests on board the brand new Dart 550 that has already been flying with the modified standard H75 engine. Sporty's Awards Flight Crew Scholarship. Corey Gordon had an interest in flying airplanes from a young age, but it was experiencing general aviation as a way of life in Alaska that inspired her to take a discovery flight in a Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Gordon would go on to earn her private pilot certificate in Anchorage. Now, Gordon, a current resident of Phoenix, Arizona, is the recipient of Sporty's latest $2,500 flying scholarship awarded through her membership in Sporty's flight crew program. David Monk selected a new FAI president. The World Air Sports Federation has selected him for a two-year term. His election took place at the 114th FAI General Conference held online from December 2nd until the 5th. He has been very active within FAI, namely the FAI Rotorcraft Commission and the FAI Air Sport General Commission since 2009. 
NASA and Boeing target new launch date for next Starliner flight test. NASA and Boeing now targeting March 29th for the launch of the second uncrewed flight test to the International Space Station as part of the agency's commercial crew program. Orbital Flight Test 2 is a critical development milestone of the company's path towards flying crew missions for NASA. For the OFT-2 mission, the CST-100 Starliner spacecraft will launch on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Paris Air Shows joins the growing list of events canceled due to the pandemic. In light of the uncertainty linked to the current COVID-19 health crisis, the Paris Air Show organization reports that it has made the decision to cancel the 2021 edition of the show, which was scheduled to take place from June 21st until the 27th of next year. Together with the Board of Directors of the French Aerospace Industries Association, the Board of Directors of the Paris Air Show has taken this decision in response to the international health crisis and the large number of visitors that this show attracts. The decision was agreed upon unanimously by the Paris Air Show Board members in the context of a crisis that has had unprecedented impact on the aerospace industry. The next edition of the Paris Air Show will be held in June 2023 at a date yet to be announced. Gilles Fournier, CEO of the International Paris Air Show, noted that they share their disappointment as the Paris Air Show continues to be an extremely popular event, even in periods of crisis. The 2023 edition will be larger than ever, and their teams are already working to ensure its success. Coming up, Reno Air started a fundraising campaign to save the races. I'll tell you how much they're hoping to raise by the end of the year after these messages. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. BLT is just another tick on your pre-flight checklist until you need it. Did you ever wonder what would happen if you had an engine failure over the mountains, marshland, or other dangerous terrain? Take to the skies confidently with the most reliable and highest performing ELTs and safety products on board that instantly mobilize life-saving search and rescue across the world. Read survivor stories from aviators and adventurers who survived life-threatening encounters thanks to ACR and Artec's life-saving technology. Luck favors the prepared at SurvivorClub.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Reno Air Races seek continuing financial support. The future of the Reno Air Races remains somewhat questionable as they struggle to deal with the damage caused by a serious accident some years ago. Coupled with the most recent year's battles of COVID-19, the Reno folks have been upfront about all of this. They issued a statement saying, For more than 56 years, the National Championship Air Races has carried on a proud legacy. Now, that legacy is in jeopardy due to financial hardship from the COVID-19 pandemic. We are asking for help by launching a fundraising campaign to save the races, with the goal of raising $500,000 by the end of this year. We have hit a milestone earlier this week in our Save the Races campaign when the total donation surpassed $250,000 to date. We're now over 50% of the way to our $500,000 goal and are so very thankful for the generosity of our fans and supporters have shown so far. We still have a way to go, but we know we can do it with your help. Two generous donors have put up a total matching donation of $20,000. For those of you who want to see Reno continue as a charitable 501c3 nonprofit, all donations to the Reno Air Racing Association are 100% tax deductible. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, on Twitter. Remember, the Airborne Unlimited is currently operating on our winter schedule, so we're streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Era News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.